length of my dash. Must have flew in from the holes in the floor or something. I don't know how he got in here. He got in. Cool thing about Subaru Brats, they made a lot of these things. You can usually actually find them, you know, for sale for kind of cheap, but they either don't run or they are rotted out. <clears throat> but you don't usually see them too often for sale. So if you see them for sale, it's like, ooh. I don't see those, you know. So you kind of, it kind of sparks people's interest, you know. But then they're not that common, you know what I mean? So when you're driving one, people are like taking pictures and trying to give you thumbs up. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Um, when I got mine, it was listed on Craigslist for, I think it was like 1500 bucks, and uh, it was in New Hampshire, and I didn't have the money to go buy it, but I saved the guy's phone number and wrote it down and put it in my wallet, and then... Uh, after like 30 days or 60 days, the ad came off Craigslist and he never refreshed it. And so I had his number and I kept calling him every so often to see, make sure he still had it. And then um, when I finally had the money to buy it, I went up there, I got a ride up there and I was gonna drive it back. And, um, I bought it. The guy made me sign this big, long thing, like, as his condition. He had his neighbor, like, sign as a witness. Like, <laughs> so, like I wasn't going to bring it right back. Anyways, so I go so I go to drive this thing home, and, I, and I'm in the middle of New Hampshire, and I'm, like, getting into Nashua, New Hampshire, and the... Uh, the clutch just completely gives out like no no forward no reverse no gears at all really and so i was able to like push it in to the um it was just a random parking lot that was the nearest where i was which i was right next to like a red light because that's how i stopped at this red light and then was never able to really go again so that was eventful got it towed home and then i ordered a clutch i think i ordered a clutch off of rock auto then Anyways, I got the clutch in. It was winter time. I put the clutch in, in the driveway, in the middle of winter. And it took, it must have taken weeks, dude. It took weeks. It definitely wasn't a day thing. It was like a painstaking. It was like, go outside, take out a bolt. Come inside, warm up kind of a deal anyways once I got the clutch in on that I thought I was good to go right but I wasn't because some transmission fluid had come out to get the clutch out because I had to take the I took the drive shaft out and the exhaust off and all that stuff to get the clutch out anyways to make a long story short, the first drive I took in that thing was actually, I, I wasn't even supposed to be driving it, but all my other cars weren't working at the time, and I knew that one would actually work, and I was just taking a drive to the hospital, and um, 
Sure as shit. Locked up. Transmission locked up while I was driving it. And uh, transmission was never the same after that. And so uh, to save this car, I had to buy a whole nother car. Because you can't, it's not easy to get just the transmission. Anyway, so I got a whole nother car for the transmission. And I ended up using a lot of parts from that car. Because I needed the transmission. I got an extra set of wheels. Um, I took the motor from that car worked. So I got a spare motor. I got um, extra doors, extra trim pieces. I got a lot of extra, extra stuff from that extra car. Like the 500 I spent on the extra car wasn't a bad deal, you know what I mean? But I ended up having to scrap a lot of the pieces that I didn't use. You know what I mean? Like the windshield and the front end and all that stuff. And now I kind of regret that. I kind of need a windshield. If you go to try to get a brand new windshield for one of these, you can't. So you have to, like, get a good windshield out of an old car. You have to, like, anytime you want a part, you have to get a whole car for one of these. It's kind of annoying. Anyways... They're out there, though, and people are selling, you usually, like, if you just need a windshield, you don't really care about the rest of the car, it can be all rotted out, and so, but then, when you got one of these rotted out cars, you can make yourself a little trailer, you know what I mean, a nice little tote behind, you could take, deck out this little trailer, you make a little camper or something out of it, you know, Keeping a brat alive is its not easy, but it is possible. Uh, right now, the one that I like driving has ru- rusted floors. And a bunch of other things are rusted. And it's just rusted out. It's got the rear cross member is barely hanging in there. So I ended up buying a... Uh, a rust-free shell from California, which I plan on, I don't know, doing a lot. It needs everything, and I want to do it good, so I'm going to try to take my time, but I also want it to be done tomorrow, so I need to hurry up. But yeah, having a... uh, Brat is very interesting. Not too many people have them. And they're kind of cool. The seats in the back are also, like, perfect, like, to go to the beach. You know, have a cool group of people go and chill somewhere. It's pretty cool vehicle I think more people should have these things but you know good thing I don't have my way otherwise I'd never be able to afford one anyways you guys have been great Uh, thank you for watching Uh, please like comment subscribe Uh, um Is that all? Is that all people do? You don't have to do any of that stuff. Just uh, just give a thumbs up to a brat if you see one. And you'll be in good shape. All right, all right. Thank you. Have a good day.